Hello and welcome to another Mr. Analytical video and today I want to introduce to you the Gear Sport which is a new smartwatch coming out from Samsung. So the Gear Sport looks quite similar to the Gear S3, maybe you guys already own the Gear S3 like myself. But I'm just going to have a look here on the website, Samsung's website, and see what it's like. Here, this is the US site, and there's, if you're in America, or there's a UK site here. So typically you'll go on, and Samsung US has this nice uh, introductory screen uh, when you go into Samsung. But if you're going on to another location, you might have to go into... Samsung site and go down to mobile down to wearables here and then if you go into smartwatches and if you select see all there you'll be able to then see the Frontier and the Classic that you may well already have and then the Gear Sport so I just thought we'd go in and have a little chat on the Gear Sport you can see it's priced at 299 that's in sterling or great british pounds and on the american site you can see here that it's actually 299 dollars so that's a bit cheaper than the predecessor the gear s3 so that's good it's always good to see them priced nice and keen so this is available in two colors it's blue and the black i don't really rate their the watch face they're advertising here as a, a suggestion so you can see all these different views. You can see at the back here we've got a protruding heart rate sensor. So that's to give you better contact on your wrist and get a better result uh, when you're wearing the watch in activity. And at initial glance here it actually looks uh, quite a wee slightly bit thicker. So this is the Gear Sport. So it's interesting that they haven't come out as yet anyway with a Gear S4. Uh, I'm not sure, uh, I don't have any contacts at Samsung to tell me if there's an S4 coming out or if this is going to be the replacement for the Gear S3. But let's just have a look at some of the specs on there. So you can see there it's got a 1.2 inch uh, display. Um, the previous display on the Gear S3, it was 1.3 inch, which is 33 millimeters. So you can see we're about 2.8 millimeters smaller in terms of the display. Four gigabytes of ROM, which is read only memory. Um, that's the same as in the pre previous Gear S3. You can see here there's an ad saying that basically you can pre order. And you get a free set of Uflex headphones if you're into your music. So get motivated to move more, eat better, live a healthy life. So it really is pushing the fitness performance type watch, uh, like a Fitbit or anything like that. It's quite similar. It's pushing you to, to keep progressing in terms of st steps walked, floors climbed, you know, the amount of caffeine that you intake and so on. So you can see here it says get on a healthy track. So there's your recording your calories, lets you record your calories in there. Um, keeps an eye on your, your eating habits. Uh, then your steps and things that you've done. So there's different workouts, which actually says it guides you. There's a guide app, companion app on your phone. And that lets you work through the different exercises that it has. Now this is interesting, this is uh, on the previous the Gear S3 we basically had IP68 water and dust resistance and that meant basically that you weren't really, you weren't supposed to swim with it or even shower with it wasn't recommended. Um, now you'll notice in one of my videos I have a video titled Is it okay to shower with the Gear S3? Uh, and but I find that it was perfectly fine to record or to uh, 
to shower with it on. I've showered, have had the watch for well over a year now and showered with it every day, so haven't had any issue, but it wasn't really recommended, so a lot of people will still have been nervous to do that, but you can see now the Gear Sport has the advert saying here, go ahead, get wet. So basically you can go, it's water resistant down to five atmospheres of pressure or 50 meters. So that's that's brilliant because you can go swimming whatever you have no worries anymore. And obviously if you can go swimming, you can shower. Uh, so that's really good. 50 meters water resistance. So it means you can just really forget about your watch being on your wrist. You don't need to worry about getting it wet and so on. Uh, it seems to be pushing a wee bit on the swimming side with links to your Speedo app and so on. So that might be of interest to some people. So you can see here that it's still going to give you, maybe you've noticed on your existing watch, if you've got the Gear S3, that it, if you're sitting for a while, it'll ask you to do torso twists or something to actually get active again. So obviously if you're driving, it's this saying that the new watch knows if you're driving, it's smart enough to know whether when you're on the road or driving that it won't ask you to start stretching. But I didn't notice my Gear S3 doing that either. So obviously you can do, as with the Gear S3, you can do your Near Field Connect compatibility. It's got the Samsung Pay that you can use, which was the same on the Gear S3 eventually. It eventually came out in the UK where I am. So that's nothing new. So here now we're getting into some hard specs. So 30.2 millimeter display, which I've said already is about three millimeters less than in the Gear S3. The ROM size is the same at four gigabytes. Dimensions, the Frontier was 46 by 49 by 12.9. So this new one is 44 by 42 by 11.6. So it is actually slightly smaller in all the dimensions. The weight is 50 grams and the weight of the Frontier was 62. The Gear S3 Frontier was 62 and the Gear S3 Classic was 57 grams, so it is lighter at 50 grams. And again, it's got Bluetooth. Um, so let's have a look at show all specs and see what else we get. So we've got Bluetooth, Near Field Connect, we've got Wi-Fi, we've got GPS, ties and operating system as before, Super AMOLED display, uh, and again we'll be able to do the always on display so we have one gig one gigahertz processor and that's again the same processor speed as before and it's the same ram and rom so sensors uh, seem to be the same here we've got accelerometer which is your you know, movement and speed, which can detect your steps and your floors as you take steps. The barometer then, which detects your, your height, so it will detect your for floor uh, levels. Gyro sensor, EHR sensor, which is a heart rate sensor, and a light sensor. Um, so we've already discussed. The battery is three coming in at 300 milliamp hours. On the previous, the Gear S3 that I have now, it's actually a 380 milliamp hour battery. So that's actually reduced battery capacity. So it's saying there, typical usage three to four days. Well, that's the same as they had advertised on the Gear S3. So hopefully maybe it's slightly more efficient electronics inside and you will get the same battery life out of it. That would be my hope. Um, and again, low usage up to six days. And I've definitely proved that with the previous watch. I'm able to use it for up to six days if I'm not really, you know, if I'm sitting at my desk and I don't need uh, you know, my phone isn't in my pocket, so I don't need the call to come up on my watch or something. I might have it on uh, do not disturb mode at night. And I'll actually be able to stretch the battery out over six days without really much effort, as long as I'm not using GPS and Wi-Fi and so on continually. So we've got S voice, we've got vibration. Um, find my phone and all the other things that we all know about. So let's go on down and see what else exciting there is and which is not much else but it. we've got a bit of a comparison screen down at the bottom i would probably go for the black i would say 
blue just i'm not sure how it would look with a leather strap or anything uh, i would say the black would be more universal you'll notice as well that the actual watch band strap is a narrower style but it is the same 20 millimeter you know click in click out so you'll be able to use the strap from your gear s3 frontier on the gear sport so that's quite handy because i have maybe a few different colored straps that i can swap around then uh, and i actually like the the wider strap that you can see on the gear s3 there so if we just a wee look on the us site before we move on you can see uh, it's just a wee bit more glossy on there nice pictures <laughs> So it tells you about the swim ready water resistance of 50 meters. You can uh, jump in the pool, run in the rain and hop in the shower without taking it off. And if we move on down, track your fitness and calories. So you've got your GPS mapping and heart rate. You can check your calories intake in, measure your daily progress and get personal coaching from your wrist during your runs and your workouts. So hopefully the little bulge on the heart rate sensor gets more reliable heart rate detection on the old s3 sometimes it would wouldn't really see your wrist and would tell you to clean it and try again so we can also control smart devices so think of this as if you've got compatible smart devices you can activate them from your watch so that's something new that we haven't seen on the s3 pay on the go we've already discussed so it's the same as samsung pay and here's just something that wasn't on the other screen that shows you that you can, same way as on the Gear S3, you can rotate your bezel to answer a call and rotate it anti-clockwise to reject the call. You can get your decline messages and read your text messages and reply without taking out your phone. So that's good to know that that's still the same. And then, of course, you've got all the other apps you can download. Um, and it's talking here about Spotify. Um, so you've got charge that lasts for days, as it says. So when it says dead it's talking about three or four days and if you're using gps and heart rate and all that it won't actually last three or four days that we've all proved with the gear s3 you get a couple, maybe a day and a half out of it if you're being a really heavy user but as i said you can get six days out of it if you're a very low user in terms of connectivity and here of course the android and ios compatible as we mentioned so it pairs with both android and ios so that's good to know Six months of Spotify premium, I think that, I'm not sure if that's just US specific or not. So, well, that's it. So that's it, that's the Gear Sport. It's, as you can see, it's really geared. It is geared quite a bit to fitness, so if you don't want all that, you can probably disable it the same way as we done on the Gear S3. You can go in and disable some of the prompts and things that, that come up. Uh, and one thing I did notice as well is that it does say that it's compatible with iOS and Android. So that might be interesting to some of the Apple iPhone users that we have. So that's it. That's the Gear Sport. And let me know, guys, what you think in the comments below. But I think uh, I've seen enough here and I'm probably going to pre-order this myself anyway and have a look and then i'll be able to give you guys more information on it there you can see the same little clip as before in the back to take the straps off here yeah so i'm going to go ahead and, and pre-order the watch um so to do that you just go click pre-order up in the top um and i actually want the black one so i need to remove the blue one from my basket and select the black one so they're both 299 either color and you can go pre-order and you can see there it ships 26th of october so that's in six days and you get the the u flex headphones with that one thing to bear in mind is it's 299 now you've got black friday coming up on 24th of november or something like that last year i bought the watch at 349 but bought the gear s3 at 349 and on the black friday you were able to buy one and get one half price i believe it was um so just bear that in mind if you're price conscious or you're struggling maybe to reach or to justify spending this maybe you could actually wait to black friday not guaranteed obviously that they do the same again but you could get the 
potentially one and one at half price, which you could then sell on maybe your local Gumtree or Craigslist and bring back around the two, say, 250 to 300 pounds, which would obviously bring the price that you paid for your own uh, watch down. So that's maybe worth thinking about. So you can see there we can pre-order and you can just go to check out. And then obviously I'll need to fill this all in and go from there. So guys, thanks for watching and let me know what you think, whether you're going to go ahead and get yourself a Gear Sport or if you're going to stick with the Gear S3, maybe you don't think there's enough difference or maybe you think there's a Gear S4 coming out. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what you guys think. And of course, if you haven't, this is your first time on my channel, uh, just jump down below and hit that subscribe button and we'll keep you up to date with all this uh, content on the Samsung Gear S3 and the Samsung Gear Sport if they manage to ship it out to me on time. So thanks for watching and chat to you soon. Bye-bye.